Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. I will be using this Feed Your Craft stamp set and flat pack. I will also be using this picture of my son in his marching band uniform. He looked so handsome, so of course I will be using that in my traveler's notebook. Um, I'm sticking to only this flat pack. You will see that you get a lot in one of these flat packs. Uh, so I'm just going to stick to this one and it's called The Story. I love the colors and um, it had a lot of red and black which uh, worked really well with my picture. So I'm just going through it and trying to figure out what I'm going to use from this pack. Uh, now I got a lot of questions about my 4x8 prints for my traveler's notebook. I do print a lot of it at home, especially if I only have like one picture. But when I have a lot of pictures and I just don't want to deal and finish up all my ink, I place an order with Prisnickety Prints. They have amazing quality and they do print in this size. So you guys can go and check them out. I will add their link down below. Uh, anyways, I just want to stick down my picture and then start figuring out how I want to lay my paper. Now I left a lot of my struggle in this video because I also get a lot of questions about do I struggle and how I can like come up with the layout so quickly and I really don't. I really edit out a lot of my video but I decided to keep some of my struggle in so you can see my process kind of where I do switch things around. I think I'm going to use like this doily but I end up not and this vellum piece I want to cut out one of these flowers and add it to my layout so just little things like that so it's this video is a tiny bit longer than usual just so I can share with you that no crafter just comes up with something and is done in five minutes everybody struggles So I like how this looks, so I'm going to start sticking things down and you'll still see me move things around until I feel like it works for me. And I do that all the time, so my layouts don't just happen in five minutes, believe me. <laughs> but once I'm done with that, I'm going to grab that Feed Your Craft stamp set. This is a new stamp set in the shop and it's called Notable News. I really like it and it works so well with all kinds of different layouts. Now, this is the perfect time to be shopping at Feed Your Craft. They are celebrating three years, and if you use the code three years, you will get 30% off. And the sale starts today, so you have three days to use this code and get 30% off. So don't walk, run, and get your 30% off your shopping cart. Um, so right now, I grabbed this game day stamp and I want to kind of break that straight line in my layout. So if you can tell where the details on the bottom kind of just keep going in a straight line. So I decide to kind of shift the stamp to the side, almost kind of towards the corner. And that way I can break that straight line that's going through my layout. And I will also stamp out heartwarming in red ink to also bring in the red towards the bottom. And when I stamp out top story at the top, I'll stamp it towards the corner and that way my straight line is broken and I kind of have like a corner to corner look, if you know what I mean.
So I'm going to add a little border around my layout to kind of bring the layout together. And I will grab my crystal drops. Now the crystal drops are gonna help me add that corner to corner look that I was going for, if you know what I mean. And I believe I'm done with my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Bye.